thanks so much for stopping by. This evening I'm going to show you how I painted this pretty white and purple rose pattern on this 20 ounce white wine glass. It's a Libby wine glass. This is a design that I've actually painted quite a few times, but I would use the white, the wicker white, and the berry wine instead of the wicker white and the violet pansy. Alright, so I am going to be using two number 12 brushes. These are plaid one stroke brushes. Love them. The paint I'm using tonight is all folk art. I'm using Peridot, which is multi surface, Violet Pansy, which is multi surface, Thicket, which is enamel, and Wicker White. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with the rose. I will be double loading my brush using the Wicker White and the Violet Pansy. Now if you're new to my channel please make sure you subscribe, hit that, rel that red button, hit the bell notification button that pops up too. That way you'll get notified whenever I post something new. Alright, so I'm going to start with my background petals and I'm just doing a real easy simple pat, uh, I want to say brush stroke where you just put your brush down and you just wiggle it. Pretend like you're mopping. It's the best analogy I have. Think of it like you're mopping the floor and you're mopping and you're mopping. One thing nice about painting on glass besides the fact you can just wash it off if you don't like it, is the way your brush and paint move on the glass I think is just awesome. Alright, so see where I have like these little sections that meet? I'm going to start my next row and kind of go over those so that they're, I cover it up and you can still see it in a sense, but they're not real visible and I'm not lining my layers up, if that makes sense. Alright, now we're just going to keep going here until we meet up. We should be meeting up here soon. Alright, so the next part that I'm doing is I'm going to be adding the center. And I just do a little center like this. And then I'm going to add another row of ruffles. And they're just, just around it. So basically this is going to have three, three rows. And then like the center, center petals that come out. And this is what I mean, these petals. just kind of lift up and pull it around. There's so many varieties of roses. This is just a st style that I use often. If you like this color scheme and, and design per se, but you do your roses differently by all means, feel free to do them the way you're comfortable with. Another thing too is that I am a lefty, so you're going to see that I start my designs one direction and then you, if you're right-handed, might need to start in the opposite direction. Now for the purpose of painting this, I'm going to do my, I do another open rose on the opposite side. So I'm going to start that here. And I've got so much paint in my brush. Good. And I hope you like this design. Once the video is over, if you like what I've done, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you've subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. And, <coughs> I'm sorry, share the video with your friends and family. That will help me grow my channel. And I would appreciate that. I'm trying to come up with some new ideas and things to, to teach. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. 
like those suggestions down in the comments below. Alright, just keep on moving here. This is a very easy design to do. Again, one that I've painted a lot of. For some reason tonight that I've been trying to do this video in between dogs being afraid of the storm we're having or I'm not liking how the rose is turning out. I have redone this video several times so hopefully I get it right and I can keep moving on here. Alright, so we're going to add the little center in again. Pudgy looking. It's like a little fat center. All right. Sometimes I have I have trouble keeping myself on screen, so I'm sorry if I float off. I really am trying to stay on on target. Here, I just do that. I swick it around and then do it again over here, move around, and then come under here, and around, and then do that over here. All right, I'm going to wipe my brush off. A little bit because so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the little the little buds. I just do this open rose and then I do buds. All right, so I'm going to do a bud over here. I should have spaced it out a little bit better. Do another one over here. And I'm trying to get my paint to be more opaque. Because if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that the more opaque you make it, the thicker the, the paint goes on, the more durable it will be. Alright, so we're going to do that. Do that. Alrighty. And then what I do is I kind of turn it. I like to put one ro one rosebud in the opposite direction. And this is just a very, very easy pattern. Alright, so I got that. Now I'm going to switch over to my leaves. Now using the metallic paint, they kind of are a little thinner. Maybe not as opaque as I like it to be. So I really have to work on that. But I'm first going to go through with my buds and then do what I typically do on them is just do know what this is actually called. If you know what it's called, put it down in the in the comments if you would please. Make sure I got my paint going the right way or my brush. Technical terms I kind of forget. Alright, so then I have to turn my glass this way. I do them all the same way. I, know, I realize that they don't all have to be that way, but Typically for this design, I, I pretty much do. I just feel like it, especially if you're doing a lot of these glasses, to keep it pretty easy, something you can paint quickly, is helpful. Alright, got that part done. Now what I'm going to do 
is start adding in my leaves. On this, I'm not going to be unique and got all the purple on my brush there. I really didn't want on there. I'm not going to be unique and try to do anything different than what I typically do. So I apologize if for that, but I am just going to do the pattern as I used to. And I'm just putting the two colors in here. And I am going to start out here. And this is where I kind of have to maneuver it some in order to try to get it to cover as best I can. So I'm going to go over it again. Now, I know some people say that you can let your paint dry and go over it again. I just kind of like to do it all at one time. I'm not very patient when it comes to... I, I can let things sit, but I kind of just like to get it done and move on. So, if that makes sense, I hope. Alright, I'm going to come down here. Maybe add another big leaf. See, this metallic really does not give it a an opaque look. I mean, which I think it turns out okay, but I'm just trying to not have it too translucent because I really don't want it that way. So I'm just kind of touching it. just pull it on this one I can just pull it like that and that's one thing I I have to kind of reiterate too is that if you're selling your glass work make sure people realize that it is hand painted that no two pieces are alike because you will be surprised at how many people will not get that Another factor, too, that you might want to make sure that you include is that you recommend hand washing over putting it in the, the dishwasher. And I know somebody, last night I was reading something, hit it. So I did a video yesterday about hand washing. You know, the dishwashers today... I think they just seem like they're a lot stronger and the heat is a factor too. So if you have anything that's even remotely close to a commercial grade, definitely shouldn't be putting painted glassware in it. If you want the designs to stay nice and you feel the need to put them in a dishwasher, definitely make sure you place them on the top rack. You put it on the bottom rack, I can guarantee you you're going to pull it out and your paint's going to be gone. Or a good portion of it's going to be gone. Not all of it, maybe. But, you know, somebody said, you know, that the dishwashers today just are, are different than what they used to be. And they're stronger. I mean, they're, I don't know if the heat is higher. I know we've gotten more concerns over germs and and that kind of thing and making sure everything is clean. I, I don't know what the what the issue is. But I have a relative that I've given a lot of hand painted glass to and I know a lot of times that the glassware that, that, that I've given her sorry ends up you know with the paint coming off so I, I don't know. You know, what what the deal is with that. You know, if it's been loaded on the bottom accidentally or but but you just don't want your beautiful glassware to come out with nothing on it or a lot of it missing. That's we bit would be disheartening.
I think with having the metallic, this is going to be a very pretty glass. And I just kind of throw these filler leaves in wherever I feel like, you know, the bare spots that it would need to be covered. Now, again, I mentioned this probably in almost all my videos. I love leaves, so if you're not a leaf person and you like it to be, uh, you know, bare or bare, you don't want it filled in as much. By all means, don't do as many leaves as I do. Because I know that I like to do leaves. It's a fact, Jack. Not a surprise. But again, you can see this is a very easy pattern. And other than the fact that I had such a problem doing it, shouldn't have taken that long. Um, I would highly recommend it. Alright, I think I'm going to stop with that and not do overkill with the, with the leaves. But once again, I think it's a very pretty glass and similar to the first one I painted, but not identical. And that is something I definitely want you to impress if you're selling these. If you're not selling them, then don't worry about it. If you're giving them as gifts, if you're using them yourself, you know, whatever. Enjoy. Alright, so if you like this video, please make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do so and hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post something new. And share, 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 if you would please. I'd appreciate it. Alright, so that's it for today. Until the next one, have a good one.